hey guys good evening welcome back to our channel hey over the farm good evening welcome back how are we doing i hope everybody is well thank you thank you thank you so much for stopping by today is monday the 11th of march 2024 yesterday was mother's day in the uk and in nigeria so i couldn't do a live stream yesterday so i'm using this opportunity to wish every mother in the house and mothers to be all mothers in waiting aunties all who are caring for their own children or other people's children in whatever capacity you are I wish you a happy Mother's Day. We all reap the reward of our labor in Jesus' name. Our children will bring us glory and we will reap the fruit of our labor over them. We will not labor for others to reap. We will not labor in vain. Welcome, everybody. Please give us a thumbs up as you are joining the live stream. Welcome, welcome. I see you guys. I had to you. I celebrate you. Please give us a thumbs up. Just give us a thumbs up before we jump in. So I woke up this morning and uh, I was actually going to rest because I had a really busy day yesterday. And then, as always, you never know what awaits you on social media. Once you open that app, different things jump at you. And the minute I opened it, I went to do my rounds. The first thing I saw was that a woman, uh, she she was previously the richest black woman in the world. She's no longer the richest black woman because I checked. I think she's number five now. Oprah is the richest black woman in the world now. So she used to drag that position with Oprah. Sometimes Oprah will be one. Uh, number one, she'll be two. But I think Oprah has overtaken her again as the richest black woman in the world. She's I think she's number five now. But she's loaded. Very well loaded. Her name is Chief Mrs. Folorunsho Alakija. Some of you are Nigerians would definitely have heard that name before. She's very well known. She's, she's a socialite and uh, she has a very, very, um, she's spoken very in the past about her, her life, her life, her marriage, her work, and everything. She's well known. Olo Ola now, you know that kind of a thing. Everybody knows you when you are rich and famous. Yeah. So I saw it and I was like, what? I was like, what? What da? I couldn't believe it. Ah, uh, look who is here. You know, before I logged in, CC, I was just thinking about you, Daha. Enjoyment officer. You are still enjoying yourself, Abby. Okay. Welcome back. How was enjoyment? I hope you had a, a an over a, a, a big 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 one. I hope you had a good time. Welcome back. So, Mrs. Uh, Chief Mrs. Falon Alakija is well known. They are rich, they are famous. And the thing that really shocked me about this news is the fact that these people are septuagenarian. They are not they are not uh, they are not young people. That's the one that really shocked me. I was like, what? I had to go and double check. Like, I had to go on Google to do a quick research to check their age. I'm like, wow. So, Mr. Uh, Chief, uh, you know, rich people, they don't usually call them Mr. and Mrs. So, let me give him a big title. Chief Professor Dr. Alakija. His name is uh, Modukbe Alakija. I didn't even know that men, men be Modukbe. I don't think I've ever seen any man call Modukbe. That was my late sister's name. It's women that usually answer the name, but I guess it's a unisex name. 30 years of marriage, both in their 70s. She is 72. Uncle is 73. 20 years of marriage. I'll be 30 years. No, it's 30 years I saw. I saw 30 years. D is saying they've been married since 1976. So about 47 years. I saw 30 years. How do you know the year they married? Did you see it on, on, on uh, what they call it? Did you Google it? My goodness. 
70s people are getting divorced and in their 70s i'm like oh my god that was the thing that really shocked me and these are people that are very very influential they are rich they are famous they are powerful wow he's 79 is he oh well google told me 47 and that, that's just to tell you that you never trust everything you see i said to dig a little deeper but she's definitely 72, right? Because she has a big presence. Yeah. Married in 1976. Wow. How old was I in 1976? Four years old. I was four years old then. I was shocked. I didn't know that people get, get, get divorced in that age. Septuagenarian. 70s. So I'm like, what, what can be the problem? Because I was re reading the comment. The comments are quite funny, guys. Let me first of all read it to you guys. Uh, what is being said on social media. Nigerian wealthiest woman following Sean Alakija and husband part ways after over 30 years of marriage. Uh, Mrs. Alakija and her husband of over 30 years, Modukbe Alakija, have parted ways according to a report by The Will. Mother of four and businessman allegedly no longer live together in their matrimonial home in highbrow Ikoi, Lagos, Nigeria. So that is the home of the 1%. You know, whenever I say 1% of 1%, eh, that's the part of Lagos they live in, is Ikoi. That's old money. Okay, new money is Banana Island. Old, old money is Ikoi, Victoria Island. Uh -huh. Because it's good to distinguish between these categories because money get levels. The couples were alleged to have been having frequent scrambles, which allegedly necessitated the wealthy woman to demand ultimate privacy in her home. Her husband was forced to seek accommodation elsewhere. That one shocked me. Because usually, the reason why it shocked me be saying in Nigeria, when a marriage ends, usually it is the woman that is sent packing because women, women normally move into their husband's house. But, again, these are not just ordinary people. I don't know if, she, if he has money like the wife. She is the one that I know that she's a billionaire over and over and over again. But I don't know if he's as wealthy or maybe they both have money. I don't know. Uh, the sources reveal that it's not been smooth sailing for the couple these past few years. And they have allegedly been forced to put up a united front because of their status in the society, the reports added. Hmm. Yes, it's not easy. These things are not easy. It's not easy for people that don't even have, you know, they, are, they don't have any public uh, profile or people who are not well known. You know, much less people who are, they are rich, they are famous, they are society, you know, uh, like, how do they describe all these big, big society? people yeah how do you describe them they are the one percent and they are very very they have a very big societal presence mm -hmm. he's the chairman of their company her company he's the chairman of her company mm. okay so when i read that he's been He's been told to leave, or he had had to leave their her home, the home that they shared together. I was like, "Oh my goodness, what is going on?" So let me read a few comments. You guys, you will laugh. This one is actually an Obodo farm. Kreji seventy nine said, "All the money in the world, and it can't keep him happy forever." Goes to show, even with all the money in the world. Hmm. And then somebody said, after thirty years. All the money, four children. What else are you looking for, madam? <laughs> of course, they will always blame the woman. You know, that one is standard. When a marriage ends, it's always a woman's fault. That's that's the Nigerian woman's cause. Mm -hmm. Another person called Ole, Ole, Ka, Ole Kaye said, once a woman is worthier than the husband, she feels she can survive alone. Uh -huh. Blame it on the money. I mean, it's so... The way people reason sometimes, uh, you just be wondering. You know, I will always say that a lot of people. There was a statement that Professor Wale, is it Wale Soyinka? 
He said something about social media. Who, got, who saw what he said about social media? Prof said something about social media and the people that use social media these days. Oh. Who read it? If you read it, please put it in the comment section what he said. I tend to believe every day when I see things on social media, I, I, I agree with him. Wale Soyinka is a professor, professor of literature, a Nobel Lauren winner. What did he say about social media? I'm Googling it too. Wale Soyinka. Give us a thumbs up, guys, while I'm busy Googling this thing. Give us a thumbs up if you're just joining us, please, about social media. I, I want to bring it out because if I'm reading this comment, you have to keep that at the back of your mind. It makes sense to have that at the back of your mind. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is what he said. Prof said that barbarians have taken over social media. <laughs> He's known, <laughs> he know, he's known to, to be very vocal, like at his age, to be honest, people of that age don't generally care what people think. They say their mind. I think he should be in his 70s or even 80s. How old is the Professor Wallace Inka? He said that barbarians have taken, taken over social media. When I saw, he said this in January 20, 2004, 24. Oh my God. When I saw this, I was laughing. But when you read comment section in on social media, like all these uh, blog posts, my dear, uh, you can't help but agree with Prof. Oh, my goodness. Prof is 89 years old. Oh my God. Wow. This man has lived long ago. 89. Wow. Wow, I admire him so much because I'm a student of literature, so I like people who write uh, literary people like that who are, you know, wow, 89. Okay, we are not talking about Prof today. We are talking about what he said about social media users. And I'm just bringing that out so that you guys will understand some of these comments so that it no go shock you. Let me read. So they blame, they blame her money for it. Once a woman is wealthier than the husband, she feels she can't survive alone. Another person said, uh, Jay said, uh, in life, eh, don't let your wife be the breadwinner of your home. Mm -hmm. Else you go see premium Shege. Only God knows what that man has gone through for the past 30 years. Now the barbarians, they talk. Oh. These are all barbarians talking. These are the people that... <laughs> These are the people that Prof is talking about. Uh -huh. Now, so the comments went on and on and on and on and on and on. Then I saw one that <clears throat> was a bit sensible. Somebody called Ward Richard said she knows that their neighbor, she said she's the best neighbor anyone can wish for. Mama has tried to contend with all his excesses. Make her no talk. Mm hmm. And of course, people are going to lash on it. Give us G's. Spill. Give us G's. Eh? Other people are helping them share their money already. Prince of Lagos say her ex-husband should help get half of her wealth, please. All these people that are talking are men, no? They are all men, including the one that said that uh, Mama has put up with a lot. Hmm? Wendy, this is the first uh, woman that commented. So Wendy said, them leave woman when they buy the whole table. God, I beg go. Like, <laughs> if my wife feed by the whole table, chop breakfast, what do me go can't do with my life? <laughs> oh, my God. Mm -hmm. And then you have all the ones that will always say, my own marriage will work in Jesus' name. Those ones plenty respect. Mm -hmm. Those are social media commentators. So, what do we know? We don't know much. Me, I don't know them personally. So, except you know them personally or you've had any interaction with them, that's all I, I know. What I've read, what I've just read to you is all I know about this situation. We are just finding out that people who are in their 70s, they are stupendously rich. The kind of money that can buy a small country. They can buy a small country in Africa. That's the kind of money that she has or they have. Hmm? So this is what I wanted to bring out of it. 
we don't know why they are divorcing. They've got four children. I think they should be grand great grandparents or grandparents at this point. No, great grandparents. If they are children, I hear they all have boys. So, uh, yeah, Halima, I was going to talk about that. I will talk about it now. So, if the boys got married on time or had babies at time, they should be great grandparents by now, right? So, what I know is that. People on social media, once upon a time, you know social media now, uh, everything is always there. People will remind you, they know they forget. Once upon a time, and I'm talking about 2016 to be precise, this, uh, um, and what, what would I call her now? Is it grandma who call her? Hmm? This mommy, let me call her mommy. She's old enough to be our mother's, our mother. So yeah, she's a mommy. This is the real mommy. Of, these are the real mommy of Lagos, not Bob Risky. She said something in 2010. I want to share my screen so that you guys can see. Because this is one of the things that people were bringing up today. Okay. Let me please give us a thumbs up if you are just joining. We are talking about Chief Mrs. Follow Sean Alakija and her husband, Chief Modupe Alakija divorcing in their twilight years these two are in their 70s she's 72 and according to what uh we are learning now he's like 78 79 hmm my dear lap now wow so i mean that really like i was thinking if you can stay in a marriage for this long why divorce acts in your 70s because it's very unusual in our community. Oyibo, no go surprise me. Oyibo, they divorce for 90. 100, they will divorce. They're not the same person. I know one Oyibo that was married to somebody that I know. That man, he was, uh, when he married this person that I know, he was like in his, uh, in his late 60s already. Since then, he's been married twice. He don't divorce that person, marry another person. I guess he don't divorce that one again. So those, those Oyibo don't send anybody. Once they are not happy, they move to the next one. If they are like, next, next. <laughs> they know they will say, but we, we Africans, we Nigerian women especially, now we be the definition of long suffering. Mm? We know how to long suffer. Men too, some men to no long suffering. We know they go anywhere, we buy it. So what I'm saying is that if people have managed to put, to keep it together all these years, it's very, very unusual. Very, very to see somebody this aged to be divorcing in our culture is rare. I don't know, guys. Me, I haven't seen it before. Like, it's not really common. Anyway, so I wanted to refresh some people's memory because I wasn't even aware of this. Apparently, uh, um, mommy said that uh, she she was still watch, washing her husband's underwear. Back in 2016, this is what she said. Let me read it out to you. I'm reading it from uh, I'm reading it from uh, Naira Land. Naira Land has been around for so long before social media. So second richest woman. So back then she was second richest woman, right? Okay, after Oprah. For long, Shalakija has revealed that she's still washing her husband on this until recently. The executive vice chairman of fanfare oil and group managing director of the rose of sharon group revealed recently how she still dotes on her husband like teenagers who just found love the african richest self-made woman with a net worth estimate of one billion dollars said i told you they can buy a small country in africa my husband is my best friend i quote Biggest advisor and supporter. We've known each other for over 40 years and have been married for 37 years. Um, now, so back in 20, uh, back back in 2016, this is 2016, they've been married 27 years. So yeah, so they've been married for over 40 years then. Okay. And she said that uh, We've been married for 37 years now with four boys. Even though we work in the same office, I always ensure that we kiss twice in a day, morning and night. I still wash his undies until six years ago that he insisted I should stop. I also prepare his special vegetable dish and do his manicure and pedicure regularly. 
I go to the airport to pick him up whenever he's returning from foreign trips. He gives me joy whenever his friends praise my vegetable dish based on what my husband tells them. So this is this is very, very endearing. This tells me that, you know, it's a marriage of love, right? Because when you love a man, I mean, you do things for them. When you love your husband, nothing stops you from taking care of them. Of them. And I usually say it on this show. I'm not saying that it's only Yoruba women that know how to take care of men. But from my experience, Yoruba women are particularly, like, they are, they are trained and groomed to respect and honor their men in a way that I've not seen it in any other culture. Maybe in the north, yeah. Northern part, too, they are like that. So she's a Yoruba woman, I so I absolutely believe what she's saying. If she said she was watching washing his underwear with all the millions and billions that he had, that she was washing his underwear until a few years ago, I believe her. Because it seems like it's a marriage of love because they were very, very close. They are close in age. Um, and they've been together forever. So this is what one of the things that a lot of people were bringing up today that Shemina she thought she they wash uh, her husband underwear. That doesn't mean anything. You know, two people always have disagreements. So we don't know what's going on. And to be honest, I don't want to speculate. And uh, no marriage is ever easy. But the only thing that I, you know, I'm surprised with is that they are actually divorcing at this age because I want more dagba grandchildren to what. We are great grandchildren, gone to what? So, I mean, it's not like they're going. Are they, do people still care at that age? <laughs> I always wonder about it. Do they care about in that age? If Uncle is 79, Auntie is 70, uh, Mommy is 72. So, it's companionship now, isn't it? For them to be enjoying their money, enjoying their children and grandchildren, you know, and just, you know, do charity, you know, serve God and just do the things that they enjoy, isn't it? So for them to be divorcing at this age is very, very, I'm shockatalized, honestly. Yeah, I'm really, really shocked. Mm, I'm shocked, yeah. Okay, so people were bringing that up on social media, obviously, not bringing it, bringing it out in a way like they are praising her. You know, all those barbarians I was telling you guys about, they don't get respect for that social media. They were bringing out to shade, to shade mommy. But uh, we, our own cover, so we don't shade elderly people. No, 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 no. We don't. Because anything can happen. Life can happen to anybody. So one thing I was able to find out again, this happened uh, a while ago, that I wanted to bring is about, you know, the character of uh, of uh, the chief uh, Modupe, Alakija, the husband. That's the picture. So this happened... Uh, I'm taking it from uh, this is actually on Insta blog. Yeah, it happened in 2021. Bilonia Alakeja's husband pushed, punished over what he did. So he belongs to this prestigious club. They call it Ikoyi Club, right? And I don't know what happened there. They said he had a disagreement with another member. This is a club that is very, very prestigious. One of the oldest and the most respected club back in the day. I don't know how it is now, but back in the day, you need to have a, self, a certain level of influence and coin to be able to join that club. I hear that they are fee to join a loan. It's not, uh, it's somebody's, uh, it's, it's more than somebody's uh, annual salary to join a Koyi club. Yeah? Uh -huh. So, the is Kerewa. Ebi said, Apashino and Robert De Niro had kids in their late 70s and 80s. Eh. Ha. Now, wow. Should be Charlie Boy. Charlie Boy thought, say, eh, the team know they stand for that age. No, be waiting. Charlie Boy is 70-year-old man now. Now, he has had the Kubo the, 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 the say, 70-year-old man. <laughs> I swear. 70-year-old <laughs> man. Now, Charlie Boy, they got 70-year-old man. Eh. Ha. That's serious, so Kukua said, my parents are in their 70s and they are going through something similar. They haven't gotten to this divorce stage, though, but there is turmoil. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry to hear that, Kukua. I pray the Lord will give them peace. Wow. I, I, I have a feeling in my spirit that when these things, when it's usually, it's not issues that are new. 
maybe it's things that people have just been trying to manage and patch and patch and patch and say, ah, eh, for whatever reason, people give to stay, 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 stay. I don't think it's something that is recent. Mm. I don't think it's something that, I don't think it's something that new that will happen. That's just what I'm thinking. Anyway, what happened with Uncle in Nikoi Club? They said that Uncle, look, look at him, they put it in a, for you to put somebody that is so prestigious and so influential in Nigeria, on this kind of paper, that's to tell you that this club not be moi moi. Hmm? Okay, so back in 2022, he was 72. So he's 74 years old now. Mm, he's 74, not 78. So they said, the club released this and said that Mr. Lakeja 72 will remain suspended in November 30th, 2022. Uh, hold on. So they suspended him in the club because of his behavior. They said that he had, um, I think he got physical with a member, another member. So the honorary secretary of the Koli Club, uh, yes, yeah, said that he was suspended over being physical with another member. Yeah, they say it was based on physical DV. And this is what it, re it, it reads. I quote, Quote, the above named member of the club is hereby placed on one year suspension from the club for physically doing DV to a fellow member. The conduct was injurious to the, to the interest of the club, whereby violating Rule 9C of the club's rule book. The suspension takes effect from December of 2021 to November of 2022. Okay, so this happened in 2021. Okay. The circular which contained Mr. Lakija's picture read. And according to the secretary's report, they said Mr. Lakija, he gives somebody gas bozo, put his hands on another member. Like he probably, he was the person for face seriously. Because he accused the person of disrespecting him. This led to, you know, buzzbows between the two and disruption of peace within the club. Mr. Alakija's wife is Nigerian's first female billionaire and the founder of, founder of Farm Form Oil and Oil Mongo. Mrs. Alakija made the first black billionaire's list in 2019 with a net worth of $1.1 billion. One billion dollars. When I mention the money, person head good. You go get headache. You don't begin get headache. Oh, what only ya Jesus Christy. Ah. So what I was saying, guys, please give us a thumbs up if you are just joining us. Can you see that? Can you see what I put there? Let me expand this because this my computer is touch screen. Hallelujah. <laughs> For them to put this man who is married to such an influential woman in, and Nigeria is all about connection. It's who you know. Who do you know? You know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. Yeah? So for them to put his picture like this, publish it like this, issue a statement to say he's suspended, that means he's really, really crossed the line. And that's to tell you the kind of club that Ikoyi Club is. They know send you if you like Bibilonia because they can't do this in a, I mean, in a place that is not as prestigious as that, you can't try something like that. Hmm? Eh? Let me see what Adago is saying. Adago is saying, and to be for her to be praised singing him on social media shows that the husband is battling some inferiority issues and she's trying her best to, re to reassure him of her humbleness. Hmm. That can be a problem, oh. It can be a problem. Some, I mean, some men will not have an issue since they even work together. They she made him the haoga in the office. What more can be reassuring? But if somebody has, you know, fragile ego and maybe some esteem issues, huh, they will not be okay. They will not be okay with that, no matter what you do. Because you know, in a place like Nigeria, you know now, 
any small thing, they say, hey, it's because she has money now. Ah, so called Udani. You want to turn your husband to your house boy. This is it's difficult for women who are successful and you know to have the, have this kind of money. To be honest, there eh? I will praise her. I will praise her. That's why you see that not, not a lot of all these women who are very very rich. It's it's difficult, except the husband is equally very very rich. If they are for maybe both of them are from humble backgrounds, and she now happened to have like a big breakthrough. Like, you know, we all know that Mrs. Alakija had that oil, oil well, that she found oil and hit gold. It's going to be difficult. Most men want to be richer. Most husbands want to be richer than their wives because it's a thing of respect for them. They'll feel like, you know, she will not respect me. But I don't think it's, maybe some women might not though. Let me say that. Some women might be very arrogant when they have money, but it's not all. Some will be very, very humble and still respect their husband. But when somebody doesn't feel respected and they say you not respect me no matter what you do, you go shalaye taya. You go shalaye taya. It's not always an easy thing, you know. So we are coming back to you know that the report that said that he, he was told to leave the family house, which is not something that happens very frequently again. And yeah, of course, people who are billionaires like this, their money is in is in dollars, not naira. So they will have many houses. They have country homes. They have they have houses everywhere. House is not their problem, okay? But there is one home that they share together as a couple in Ikoyi, and that's the one that the man had to leave, okay? D said, I agree, because he made a statement in an interview that made me to think to think the same. He said, Fam Fanfare oil is not owned by any one individual, but is a family enterprise. Ah. Okay. D, you clog the insecurity immediately. Yeah. Okay. He said it's a family business. It's a family. Ah. That's what he said in an interview. Yeah. It seems like, yeah, he struggled with that. He may have struggled with all that money. That money is too much. Mm. Yeah. Adiola is saying that with this suspension in a public place, then imagine how he behaves with his wife at home. So the, the divorce speaks volume of what's happening to that marriage. Mm. Yeah. I mean, somebody who was at the time that this incident happened in the Koei Club, he was 72 years old. Normally at that age, people don't they don't get physical again now. Abi they will be they will be coming down. But for him to still get like physical with another member who I, I, I believe is a man, then that has to tell you that uh, okay, maybe uncle has some anger issues or something, or is somebody that cooking one ungba. Some people, some very people, stubborn people that have agidi, even when they are hundred, that agidi will not stop. Oh. <laughs> they will not stop. They will not stop. Where is it from? You guys know where where is from? Where is it from? Is it from Ekiti? <laughs> Ekiti people don't collect. I just say Ekiti men get agidi where where. <laughs> I stand corrected. Don't come for me, oh. Uh -huh. Now their wives talk so not be me. <laughs> So, this is, I mean, this is very, very surprising. Obviously, for these people, because of their class, and class is a big deal in Nigeria, a very big deal. Mm -hmm. Class is everything in Nigeria. For them to, I mean, for her, I'm talking about Mr. Lucky Jana to be saying, you know what, I don't really care anymore. Enough is enough. You got to go. That means... She's gotten to a point where she does not care about, you know, what will people say or image and all that anymore. After all, oh, bye, not bye, Abby. Mm. So, why will people who are septuagenarian, people in their 70s, be getting a divorce at this age with all the money, with all the. Uh, but I must say that this lady looks good, Sha. Ah, black don't crackle. How can somebody in the 70s look so good? 
Not a single wrinkle in sight. Hmm? Eh, hey, Tony Tun said no one wants to spend their golden age in the wrong marriage. But if you spend all your your youthful age and basically all your life in the marriage, what is left? I said it is something. Golden age. Eh? Hey. Hmm. Now, wow. So, what do you guys think about this situation? Why would people so advance? in age, in their class, and everything. Why did they wait till this time? Because me, I'm, I'm suspecting that this is not today that all these things started. Why would she now risk it all and say, you know what, uncle, you gotta go. go see gray hair everywhere now. Both of them will have gray hair. Both of them will have gray hair. Definitely, uncle has got gray hair. He's not a kid. He's going to 80. But when you look at them, you can see you can see money talking in their skin. Even even the uncle said the skin is reporting. You can tell that yes, when money money is working there, his skin looks good. They both look very good, I must say. But money day now, oh wow, oh wow. Eh? Somebody says she waited for her children to grow. Probably she waited. Abi reality said probably she waited for her children to grow. Wow. 70s 70s i'm really just shocked at lies anyway give us a thumbs up let's have a conversation why do you think our most of these our parents always they know because most people when you're in a marriage that is not working you know why do they wait hmm? why do they wait and why would she why is she taking that step now what do you think cc hey welcome love hey auntie b how are you i'm good darling good let me just add my two cents i feel so sad this is so heartbreaking you know me i love love after yes. how long 47 years and they're saying divorce my goodness it's shocking <laughs> it's shocking i was yeah. shocked um but personally for me i think that i think it's a financial it's like saving herself in some financial aspects i think that's why she's going for a divorce because to have a divorce means that she's severing probably a lot of financial obligations that maybe the man will have on her or they'll have with each other mm. in terms of the money that she has okay so if anything was to happen to her anything was to happen to um the business or whatever i think it's a financial move to be that final and say i'm going for a divorce because at their age, with the kind of money that they have, if the husband lives in one side of, um, I don't know, Banana Island, he can have a house in one side. She can live where she needs to live. Maybe they just meet for social events and, you know, put on that yeah. smiling face, happy family, united front. Yeah. Yeah. There's no reason to actually divorce because they're, a lot of I people mean. actually do that. They live apart. Yeah, yeah they live, they live completely they separate money, lives. And when they have. A lot of rich people do that. They don't yeah, have... Bill, I think Bill Gates and his wife, they were separated for many years, but they show up together before they actually announced to the world that, oh, we're, you know, we're divorcing or whatever. They had been living separate lives. But when it comes to like social things, they're always together as a united front. Okay. So for me, I feel like something has happened that is very, very serious that this lady has decided, you know what, this man is not to be trusted in whatever aspect. And I feel like it's a financial move for her to secure herself and maybe to make sure that this man will not have any legal say over the money if a time comes that she's not here or whatever. I feel like that's that's why she's making that move. So uh, that, that's what I think it is. Because other than that, there's no reason, really. Mm -hmm. Hmm. really yeah okay okay yeah. uh let's hold that thought um i'm not leaning towards finance uh cc there's a reason why i'm not leaning towards finance okay they've got a lot of money and she made him the chairman of her organization so she's the one that has this money let's be clear okay mm -hmm. she's the rich woman okay but she made him her boss just to reassure him you know, uh -huh. that's okay, you're my husband, I respect you, and all that good stuff. But you hear what uh -huh. somebody said a while ago, that she said, you know, the man in an interview said, oh, this uh, company does not belong to one person. 
He's a family exactly. of business. Exactly. Yeah. But as a chairman yeah. of when you make somebody the chairman of a business, mm. I feel like her doing that, he does have sometimes he'll have more say and the board members will have more say than you, the person that created the business. Yeah. That's yeah, how right. if you remember Steve Jobs, yeah. he owned he created Apple. Right. But he was voted out of that company because why mm. other people once you create a, a like what is it called a conglomerate or whatever it's called there's other people just because i created the business plan and i did all these things once you involve these other external people and you make this yeah. person you the chairperson yeah. once you, you go public it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's no longer oh because i created the it's, it's not like that so possibly her severing and divorcing it means that she will now completely cut off any ties where this man will have any say on other aspects of their financial situation because she probably knows that if it comes down to it in terms of the business there's a lot of say that he will have on maybe input but in yeah. other things like you know things that tie married couples together in terms of maybe her will in terms of maybe um what's that thing that they they do like you know when you have your you've left your things to certain people somebody who can act on your behalf yeah, she's trying to cut yeah. the power of attorney she's trying to yeah. cut that and make sure it's not going to be a husband that's why i feel she's all that this or she's decided that a divorce is the ultimate thing to do because that is the way that you can sever a financial tie with a partner that you've been with as long as they have been that's okay. my thinking of the situation so right. yeah okay. yeah thank you sis. all right and to be you're welcome uh, very quickly she think her uh your connection is not quite good your nest but can you put your wife or something on i can't add you Okay, that's better. Okay, welcome. Where are you joining us from and what do you have to say? Hello, Auntie B. I'm joining you from London. Right. Um, first of all, thank you so much for everything that you do. You are amazing. You are a star. You're thank my you. personal favorite, Auntie B. Oh, thank you so much. Auntie B, do you know, one of the things that came to mind out concerning this story, I was talking about it with a friend yesterday and she was saying to me that you know it must have been that early on in this relationship our mommy ignored certain red flags right and she's been managing these red flags as she's gone along mm -hmm. and then and i thought about the equi club situation it's most likely that the person that uncle got into a fight with is also an influential person of course there's there are no poor people because that the club, there are no poor people there and no. you know the bible says a person without self-control is like a city without walls mm -hmm. So if this man, you know, if that's how, if that event is typical of the way his life generally is, then he's somebody that's without control and he's dangerous for her business and possibly even dangerous for her own personal enjoyment of life and maybe even safety, uh -huh. you know, so God alone knows how much she has tolerated. You know, you see one red flag, you say, okay, it's a warning. Let me think about it. Uh, several red flags. There is definitely danger ahead. Uh -huh. And then the more you ignore them. Way. You know, I should think, uh, um, when I saw the story, the story of the Ikoi Club happened, when I saw the mm -hmm. story today, my mind was like, hmm, I think this uncle is embarrassing this lady. That's why. Maybe I that's I'm suspecting that he may be doing some things that are really, really bringing her because she's not a, I mean, she's not a kid. She said she's as big as they come. When you talk about be, her position in society, she's got the money, she's got influence, she's well respected. She in and out of True. Nigeria. And if you have somebody, you're married to somebody, like you said, maybe, mm -hmm. of course, there will always be issues in marriage that people are managing in-house. But when it becomes mm -hmm. public and it starts to impact or start to, like, you know, harm your image or, you know, the way people look at you, some women will be like, mm, no, 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 no. You got to go. And you know what I think? I think our mommy could have been managing a lot of... It must have affected her image, definitely. But I think she's managed a lot of that. And she's proven that her ego is not the biggest thing to her. Because when she came out in 2016 and talked about washing his undies, cooking his food, you know, there's some people that will say, you know, that 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 was it. Some people would think that's not something that she should need to say. But she yeah. didn't mind saying those yeah. things, you, you know. You but she was really saying God. that in public just to stroke his ego. And to be clearly, but the truth yeah, is that a person who is insecure, it will never be anybody. That she was clearly stroking his ego, and to be, but a person who is insecure, nothing you do will ever be enough. Mm. I'm not married though, but I've experienced it. 
Mm. Nothing you do, the ex, no matter how much you bend over backwards, you try and massage their ego, you try and take care of the, a person who's insecure, it's them. When do you know when they say in a breakup, it's not you, it's me, or it's not me, it's 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 it's not, you know, mm. the kind of thing that we say she's managed it for, for 40 something years. Maybe she should be able to manage it um, a bit longer. Nice. Yeah. It does not get easier. And I think as you get to that, old, you know, as you get older, from what I've seen with older couples, as you get older, your patience reduces. They're just like, I beg, I beg, I beg, leave me alone. If you're not adding to my life, I've tolerated you for 46 years. It has become a life sentence. Oh, I'll be yeah. going. And she's a very serious Christian, no? She's always giving oh, talks, yes. to preaching, yes. to mount the altar. She's into ministry as well. She does that. Yes, and that, that. Is she... even, it makes it even more significant for her to remain married because of her ministry work. You know what That's it is true. in Nigeria. That's true. That's so true. for her to but... make this decision, it's got to be something mm. serious. And I think it's also, in a way, it's helpful for people... You know, it's not... It's not divorce is never good. But the fact that she's taking this step show society that unfortunately there are healthier divorces than unhealthy marriages and it should give people the liberty to say let me step out if something is not working let's end it mm. how doing this it's not you know especially in nigeria where marriage is our you know be all and end all but um, and, and and this is not to encourage anybody to break a healthy marriage but the fact that she could step out of something that wasn't working actually will give people permission to step out of things that are not in their favor well, I'm, def I'm I'm sure she would have prayed about this. I mean, God can sell both sure. legally, spiritually, yes. and family-wise. And, you know, she would have spoken to people sure. before she would take that. It's not a decision that a woman like this would just... You know, she's not somebody that is uh, just a, a sports uh, child or young person. That no, would just wake up and no, no. This is a woman that is seasoned in her career, she not, in her life. She's exactly. seen it, but she's done it all. So exactly. She and she must be very risk aware. Like mm. Exactly. She must be very risk aware. So I'm sure she's calculated everything and she's decided that in her own interest, this is better for her than continuing to, to remain with, with the man. Yeah, they say she it's has a very sad. Her house. Yeah, I noticed she stopped wearing oh, wow. jewelry one time. Yeah, she wasn't wearing jewelry anymore. I remember that. I think I remember seeing that in yes, the news. Yes, TV yes. said... They have a church in their house. She once said, God told her to stop wearing jewelry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because lately I've not been seeing her with any jewelry. She used to mm -hmm. wear like diamonds and stuff like that. Then she stopped wearing them completely. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's, Thank you very much. She's, she's a lovely lady and I, I wish yeah. her the best as in her twilight years. Yeah, yeah. But she seems like a lovely lady, I should say. I don't know her personally. <laughs> yeah, somebody said she came to Toronto for a conference that she's absolutely amazing that she's very very oh. nice like she doesn't have the arrogance that comes with all these rich people that don't even have money you know it's always the ones I that don't imagine. have that don't have they don't have <laughs> such a day money once they are the first millionaire in their family let them just have oh. seven million but them ah you know not hear what anymore they will pay everybody mm. thank you my darling have a lovely evening and to be all right cheers darling I mean, sorry, your connection is not good, yo. Put your Wi-Fi on. Let me on you. Let me add you. Uh -huh. Bradola, I'm coming to you next. Okay. I'll be sorry. Hello, darling. How are you? Welcome. Good evening, and to be happy International Women's Day, even though it's past. Uh -huh. uh, you, you are worth celebrating all the time. Thank you, you are my superwoman. I love you. <laughs> I Thank cherish you. You. Aww. you are worth celebrating, and to be, I love you so much, and to be. Thank you. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day to you too. And happy International Women's Day too. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie B. Uh, Auntie B, this um, lady's uh, case, you know, when you get towards 50, 60, you are getting to the point of, I don't give a damn. Like, I don't care. <laughs> like. Yes. Happy Sorry. Are you there? Guys, please give us a thumbs up if you are here. And you are listening to this story. We are talking about Mrs. Alakija Folonsho and her husband. Uh, um, I don't know. They are divorcing in their 70s. And I'm really, really shocked because it's not often you see our people who've grown up together, four children, grandchildren, maybe great-grandchildren somewhere, now divorcing. Not people in their 
class. Yeah. Early, it's rare. Yeah. So, Auntie B, maybe she just got into the point that our kids are grown. They are out of the house. Like, why would I continue to tolerate you? Like, as in, why would I still need to tolerate you? And apart from the fact that the man usually fights at Ikoyi, we got to a point they had to ban him from coming. That like yes. he just stay in his house. D there's rumor that um for long and short, she's she's having health issues with her sight. I think she's uh -oh. losing her sight. Oh my Yo. goodness. So it's ah. so it's so it's possible she's just trying to protect her asset, like uh Sissy said. Maybe she's just trying to protect her asset and that's everything. really sad though. Yeah, oh my god. Because mm. apart from the sight, it might be a sign of probably maybe something, maybe two more or something. But you know, people mm. they want to keep it under the wrap. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Hmm. The rich also cry, innit? With all that money. Wow. What am I saying? Hmm. Is it not uh, money does not save people from some things that happen in life? We don't know. Things happen. That's just life. Hmm. So what you think that there has it's finance, it has to do with finances now, saving herself and no, I, I I think to me majorly, I think he's just living, maybe living uh like our old age just in peace. To me, mm. I think that's how because he would have said unlike her, she did wedding for her, I think her last child or recent, and it was just on Loki, even there was no cameras ah. allowed that and it's unlike her. People were like, This is not for Lauren Show, like. Mary, like Mary yeah. saying something here in the comment section. Mary said, Auntie B, I attended her conference in London. She said that her husband cut all the cables where she watched Christian TV. Can the man imagine. was not really into in support of her ministry. You can just imagine. You can just ah. imagine. So probably, probably they are on different paths. Spiritually, right. they might be on different pathway, and she just feel, oh, I'm I'm getting towards the end of my life. I need to dedicate myself to God. And if, what if is she going one... to do with her life? She's worked hard all her life. Uh -huh, exactly. She's attained everything. I'm sure she she's all her what do they call that thing that you put all your dreams that you want exactly. to have bucket and uh, whatever. And she's done it all. What is there to yeah. do but to serve God and use yes. your money to help humanity? Yes. What else? Yes. Yes, in her Maybe... 70s, what's she gonna do? Yeah, so probably she's not gonna live forever. Nobody lives forever, huh? exactly. And probably due to the health issue, she might just feel, Oh, like, how how can I? Maybe if I serve God more or something, maybe there can be a miracle or something. Yeah, no, no I mean, what Mary's saying now is yeah. making sense. Out of all the speculations and all the things we've been saying, this is the one that sounds reasonable to me because most women that are really into ministry, you don't come for their ministry. That's exactly. the area. They will not allow it. Mm. Exactly. Because of all the things that people have said, this this one really it makes sense that yeah. if yeah. He's in any way, you know, she's not allowed to, you know, to to ministry to do her ministry in peace, and it feels like she's feeling like he's an it is a hindrance in whatever mm. way because they say the church is in their house. Mm. Then I don't know that might and, be and and and, and probably probably. The man felt she's not the woman he fell in love with. Like, maybe probably they go out together, they party, blah blah blah, and all of a sudden everything just stopped. You understand, to be so the mm -hmm. magic might not just be there anymore, and they're just like patching things up for the kids. So, I just wish them all the best. They are grown, anyways. The kids won't really suffer because they are grown as well. So, mm -hmm. if 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 them being apart to give them peace, so be it. They will be fine, and to be. Of course, everybody will be fine. Last, last. Mm, thank you, Abisoye. I appreciate you, my darling. Take care. Always a pleasure speaking to you. I love you, darling. Please give us a thumbs up, guys, if you are just coming. Somebody said that we are speculating. Well, if you know better, come and share with us. In the absence of knowing the details, that's all we can do. These are scenarios. You know what they call scenario, scenario planning? Yeah, these are scenarios that people are looking at. But it's not just speculation. It's not just pure specul speculation because people know her. People have attended her conference. Like two people here said they've attended her conferences. She's granted thousands of interviews. So she said things. The man too is well known. He said things. So it's not just speculation. The Ikoi incident that happened in the Ikoi club is all over the internet. They put his face in a, in a poster. Like uh, the way they used to do all those people that in America when they want to do mock sh shot for you, that's how those people did it. So it's not, it's not just speculations alone. There, these are 
possible scenarios. Okay, Braola, welcome. How are you? Unmute yourself, please. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. See, eh? Uh, all of the talk, not about money, not just about misunderstanding. You know, we have to go towards tradition now. This man, this woman, they don't marry. Mm. They carry this man's name, he born for him, big children and everything. This one not be real divorce. Some people say divorce, divorce. Maybe, mm. you know, say when you don't they grow, eh? The mm. brain might be, um, depends on one of them who gets stressed, pass for a you know, just to realize their mind. This mm. woman, I see this my wife, not be about money. This man, they live well, large, well. Mm. Not about, say, this is, you know, see his wife. This, this woman, they answer to this man, voila. They don't they old now, with maybe not just more misunderstanding, you know, sometimes maybe attention, maybe one of one of the they look for attention more than the other one. Just like, ah, this is without the girl that was supposed to be relaxed. Now just misunderstanding like that. You now we say you won't cut this guy off. What do you want to cut this guy for? How how this might be? The man hold himself, the man get money where well, where. Well. This kind of woman, eh? Mm. You know where I say cut this man off, like like because you know what this man do for him back. You understand mm -hmm. me? You know, mm -hmm. so don't say this man don't make money like that. Say your job can't make money. Mm -hmm. Now this man go stay behind the whole scene. You mm -hmm. So that's his wife. Yes. We all come from a village, eh? And mm -hmm. you see, you see, they answer to that, to that level. It might be so, okay. You stay one big mansion, make a sick my own. We feel come to eat dinner together. You gonna tell you so? Who want, okay? Who person this kind of woman won't marry? Nobody. Who person mm -hmm. this man won't marry? Nobody. Maybe some women go feel that they won't come enter. They don't feel because the, the, the children are too big. You understand mm -hmm. me? Too, see, see, that the children they even they control things, not be them anymore. Mm -hmm. And the children, money mm -hmm. too big, you know. So nobody say he say go, not be go loud to that's okay. Uh Oga, I bet you go take your rest first. Maybe you today temper me, maybe to shake the man. You know, some women they be now when they don't the old. Sometimes if their husband they go to say I the park go my house, I the park go my house. The woman, you know, the man come the beg, and you come, you come the church. This this thing when they bring come out, so you might not be as this. Maybe they might have their own old age problem talking, noise making, everything. At the end of the day, Duma will say, ah, where this man? Go see, call his name. Now just misunderstand it. No, the man mm. not poor. The man at home, the man feel be billionaire himself. The mm. man a billionaire. Everything mm. when they get now for family, because now they, the man don't get no other wife. Now this woman be the only wife for he get, and the children will get. Then mm. they go out. Agreements, before you know now, they go to eat dinner, they talk. Maybe the man feel accept. If not religious something, the man can they accept the thing slowly. If the man never did that level, but why must go wait till he's irresponsible to something? Can't they divorce now for that age? At, at the B, now you know they don't get a little bit modern on it, but I don't see where my grandfather, and my grandmother, sort of they, they argue. Mm. You know they so argue that my grandma say they go to Papa house. Uh, I, I, I I said they think and say not be money, mate. I don't think not be money. I just money. argument. Mm. You know, the I don't say that money, money because money is not their problem. When people mm. don't they owe there, when people don't they owe there, sometimes eh, their tolerance level they reduce. Yeah, uh -huh. you say the noise, the noise is too high. Look at that TV. Do this, mm. might be the man or the woman sit there. The person who are among the one get vibration past each other. You understand mm. me? One mm. feel the same man. Ah, man, you stressing me too much. I need a rest. You're okay, okay. You know, too many mansions they call you there now. Abuja everywhere. London. Mm. Just go, go. The man's okay. Eh, hey, you don't move. Go there. I go divorce you. But I go do. I go do. I go. Now nah, lie. At the end of the day, they say they call each other. Now nah, just this one, eh? Me know they call this one. This one not be European type of divorce. This one not be like mm. big gate, whatever. That one divorce at all. Naja own this one. Naja divorce for this age. Now nah, some nah, totally different. Because they say they answer to their children and to their villages where they for they come from. At least this is now only they just they are popular. Say that their, their children we just say maybe their children don't be thirty something. Just say Papa, my what do they look for that? Yes, no, they don't pass like that. Oh, that is something. Okay. Marriage of oh, and be the, years. And I'll be the and I'll be the talk now. You say, but I go, they no, they're just okay. Mona stay separate way. Mm -hmm. Now come to eat dinner together now for they come come back again as one again. Now, so mm -hmm. if it happened to this to this man, that woman, that woman go he go reduce. She don't go even uh, if it happened to this woman, that man go he go fit. For the seven years, not be smart, you know, whatever how many years they did together. Mm, then a lifetime now. That's a lifetime. They've been well, together for just be so that for old, old people you know if they hear noise again among themselves. Not mm. be money. This one, money, no, money, not be money. Uh, you know, they will come back. This one will not be personal like that. This one will always go back to your husband. 
when that every day I know is settled down, but I tell they look for Philip or I don't know the man name or but I tell you look for the man. Ah, Modupe. where you now? Your name now, Modupe. Okay, well, okay, Modupe. where you now? I'm gonna drink tea together. You say, I better go call and come out. Uh, driver, put me for a second. I won't go drink tea with my man. Okay, That's what it be. Uh, now, now that theory, you can't bring console, so they go come back. I bring okay. tradition, I bring I bring tradition into it. No, the other lady was talking more on the western way. Oh, money, don't want nothing. That's a western something. Africa, I know they be like that. Once you get okay. children, and children, they no let him, no let she get, no let him get, no let, no let to no let they get the children when they get together. Children don't already the wrong things already. Children don't inherit all the things. Not be money, money, not they shock all people like that. But now, nah, child, they won't buy. Now, nah, car, they won't buy. Not that they shock mm -hmm. them again. Apart from saying that they look for their own grace, we will carry the entire heaven a happiness. Finish. Okay, thank you very mm -hmm. much, brother Kidola. You know, always they bring a different perspective. A lot of people know sometimes when they talk, they will shake their head. Mona, Mona leave brother Dollar alone, though. He brings tradition into Ram. But the truth be said, these people they've been together for their entire life, they've been together. So this kind of marriage, me don't know how I want to end though. But whether they will come back again, I don't know because. They are in their seventies already. Uncle is almost eighty. Ha! I no can know this one. No, the thing just anyway. There's a lot that goes on, you know, even with people who have money and all these uh, clouds and class and everything. And uh, sometimes money go cover them because they look very rich and successful on the outside. They are driving their Bentleys and their Rolls Royce, but underneath that, ha! A lot goes on. No. Some of these wealthy people, if you know what goes on in their private lives, you will be shocked. Yeah. <laughs> Gravitas, please leave me alone. No, he said, brother, don't I say, he said, I like, like divorce. <laughs> Rap Patrick, do you believe it's like, like divorce? Hey, yeah, oh, to be. Brother, don't I just, I just, I just, I love us. He said, I like, like divorce. This one, I like, like divorce. <laughs> I said this one a family matter. Make a put make a put mouth. Abby. And to be from my own end, it's it's so deep. You know, uh that woman of that caliber for her to have filed for divorce. Mm. It's deep. Mm. You know. And you know, I'm I'm gonna say something that some people may not agree with me. Yeah. Two more. You know, there is a pain that's Women go through when they remember that pain. It's left for them to react or not react. It doesn't matter the age. Okay. Yes. Even in what marriages. I mean, in marriages, maybe what the, 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 the man has done to them. It's okay. It's not left for them to say, ah, God, what this man did. But in this case, this woman has been praising the man. Uh -huh. You know that she washes her hundies and so and so. And the bill might not leave the money issue. Uh -huh. I even look at the man's character too. And you know, like I said, some people may not agree with me. It happened in America. I forgot that lady. I'm going to do my research and pull up her name. She's a she's thinking rich. She's a uh, billionaire too. Uh -huh. She has business with the husband. The only thing she did, to, the husband did for her to say, no, I'm done. They are either the woman is going to 72. Uh -huh. the, woman, the man cheated. Okay. So and I, I've witnessed a director, a board director. I didn't even know. They covered it. You know, later, they said, what? Is this what this man did? And the man was using uh, this thing, uh, ABC, that they put in the heart for people that are having heart issue. So the woman, the man Kerry was the secretary of the association. The secretary was married and she got suspended, director, a big man. I didn't know it was later. Somebody now told me this was the man after a few years. I said, oh my God, I was mm -hmm. lost. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the man had peacemaker. It's an elderly man. Mm -hmm. So it happens. I'm not saying don't miss, people should not misquote me. I'm not saying that what that was what he did. Yeah, nobody knows what happened. Yes. Mm. So nobody there, knows that possibility. A woman will say no, and the man must have done something. And the man said, "No, I can't. I can't do this no more." Mm. And the lady that said she attended a, a, a seminar a conference that the man, you know, 
when you are pushing your wife to that level, you know what that that woman, what she likes, she loves God. You know what I mean? You can't do that. You know, you should give her that independence to mm. do her thing at that mm. age. You know what I mean? Your mom mm. might say, no, I can't take this anymore. And the, 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 the kids will not have no choice but to support their mom. Mom, mm. do whatever you want to do. Mm. And you can look at that suspension at that age. Mm. You are not even respecting your family to be doing that, putting us on somebody outside. Yeah, that was um, that was very, very embarrassing for people of their status. Yes. And again, I'm sure that would have brought a lot of embarrassment. And apart from that, it's also an indication of his character. That's what if I just said. If you can said. go and fight in a club, a social club, then yes. what are you doing inside house? Yes. So there are a lot of things that could have, you know, it could have led to the man saying, well, I don't really care. You don't care about me. I'm going to go, go outside and do whatever I want. So, you know, mm. that, that might mm. be the last straw that breaks the cameras back. Mm. I'm not mm. saying he did that. I'm just, you know, I've yeah. seen cases. I, people that I yes. know, I just mentioned one now. Yes. And it mm -hmm. happened in America, very, you know, billionaire to a lady. She has estate. She's into charity now. Black mm -hmm. lady. And she said mm. she was done. She's not going to get married again. Mm. So that could have been the, 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 the case, you know what I mean? And you know, for yeah. that woman at that caliber to have come out, you know, you know how many people have intervened? Yes. The moment yes. you can't do that at your level. Yeah. She's yeah. human, you know what I mean? So I can't be taking, she's human. Yeah. So mm. that's my own thoughts. So all right. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's no definitely something to think about because some 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 uh, people, the older they get, thank you so much, Brother Patrick. We appreciate you, sir. God bless you. The older they are, the more, you know, they are not tolerant like that again. They are like, ah, uh ah, -uh, can fair. What do I want? Am I, do I want to have babies again? I be, well, what is it? What have I not done? You know, you get jaded at a certain age when you've seen it all, you've done it all. There's nothing, nothing that is uh, shocking you again. If it's marriage, you've been married 14, almost 50 years. So at that age, tolerance becomes very, very, the threshold is low, very low. Babe. Have you seen your parents at that age quarreling? You go laugh, tired. They'll be quarreling. Small, small thing like you, they see them quarrel. They wonder. We do raise safeguarding here in this part of the world for elderly couples as, as well. So it's not like I've not seen people old like that quarreling or even living. As a matter of fact, I had one case where you know, we had to remove the man. They've been married for years. I'm talking about people that are in their 80s. We had to remove him from 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 the from the house because of what he was doing to the to the to his wife. The wife didn't even know. You know, she wanted him to remain, but the children said, "La la la, oh, fat dad, you have got to go." So they reported him to the police. The police came and removed him. Now that they have feared this country, it's something year old man. Police still remove him. Huh. But like we said, Nana Njabidi, so that one is different scenarios. Okay, uh, Estelle, I'm coming to you. Let me take Uche first. Hello, Uche. Nah. Welcome. Oh, Where are you joining now. us from? Are they, are they from US. Welcome. Yes, how are you? See, my okay. own yeah, my own speculation be this. Mm. This 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 lady can't go get BBL. Hmm? Now you don't want this man no more. Ah, uh -uh. BBL for which age? <laughs> <laughs> which age are you okay? <laughs> That's why no, you don't wear jewelry again because, because they got telling not to wear jewelry. Now you go get Wait, BBL. No, 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 last speculation. Why they make say no, you don't go get no, BBL? Nah. Say you don't That's want the husband age. no more. <laughs> so I do your, BBL don't go stand for her body now. Which one is it? We 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 with Ale. Allah Keja don't get her groove back. Like Stella don't get her groove back. Don't get her groove back. <laughs> okay, well, I hear you. <laughs> All right, take care, TV. <laughs> Thank you. You do well. All right, All All right. right. no, no shaking. Laugh. Now, what you just come no, tell us with that? Allah Keja don't get. Yes, Allah Keja don't get her groove don't back. Don't get her groove now. back like, like Stella. Like Stella, like Stella get her groove back. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you very much. Uchina. All right, no, no problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which one come make us laugh? Which one say na groove back? Oh, say like like Stella, mommy, mommy, I like it. Just got her groove back. Now the BBL now just finish me. BBL, Nick Bawo, 
From where to where? Kill like where? Kill like What did we cash? What did we throw? Estelle, hi, welcome. Where are you joining us from? Good evening, darling, and to be. How are you? I'm good. I like the way you call me, darling, and to be. Oh my God, <laughs> I feel good. good. You have such a nice voice. Oh, thank you, thank you. Where are you Happy us from? belated Mother's Day to you. Hope you have. You. Hope you had a good day yesterday. I did. I did. Thank you. Good. Good. So um I've been listening for a while. I actually I'm a sub I'm a subscriber, but I don't know what happened. I went to make comments today and I couldn't. So I don't know what happened. But um I just wanted to add a bit of my thoughts when I saw this this morning. Mm -hmm. And I haven't listened to the men as well. I think uh, this is why a lot of men get blindsided when mm -hmm. they get, you know, the divorce papers. Right. Because it seems like they're not realistic, uh -huh. and me myself, I'm, 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 I've been divorced for two years, um, and I was married for about thirteen years, but uh -huh. from the first year of my marriage, I had wanted to leave, but wow. you know, I still ended up staying about extra twelve years, uh -huh. and for mommy, I think it's something that she has taken, and people break sometimes. Mm -hmm. And people don't, I think people don't understand there is a thin line, a very, very thin line mm -hmm. between love mm -hmm. and the opposite side of it. Of, co of course. And, you know, when a woman goes through a lot and, you know, again, you said something that I was like, you've cottoned on to something. Mm -hmm. If you're fighting in a social club and you're getting banned, mm -hmm. what are you doing at home? Yeah that you must be capable of much more at home if you're doing that mm -hmm. in a social club mm -hmm. so for me personally i felt like she's gone through quite a lot it doesn't even come it doesn't come down to money mm -hmm. it doesn't come maybe it maybe it was a sake of i need to keep my sanity right because you get to a point where you're like am i going mad you, am, am i going mad mm -hmm. you you just need to keep your sanity Mm -hmm. And maybe that was the point she got to and she was like, you know what, for the sake of peace, for me to be, you know, sane, let, let's, let's just end it. Yeah. And there was one comment that I read um, when I went through this, you know, the comment in Instagram. Someone said to you know, someone said on the comment that most people's, you know, um, marriages at this age, they're actually quote unquote divorced because what happens is the wife goes off to do om omogwa, I believe uh -huh. that's what it's called. Yeah. And the husband is left aside. And this is most Nigerian marriages, this is what happens. Uh -huh. I think mommy was just brave enough at this point in time to, you know, to take that bold step and say, that's it, enough uh -huh. is enough. And yeah. having heard the men speak today, this is why most of them get get blindsided when things yeah. like this happen. Well, so the a lot of a lot of brothers or men, even older ones as old as this uncle is, they usually know aware. They don't see it coming. Mm -mm. So when the divorce, <laughs> they come, when the when the woman, because we now know that a lot of divorces are being filed by women, uh, it's mm -hmm. like it's shocking to them. Like, uh, uh, how? What did I do? But the issue, because men tend to move on very quickly and forget when things happen. Meanwhile, women, I will still remember something that happened seventeen years ago. I remember yeah. something that happened. Like we, if we don't have closure on that matter, you might even forgive, but you're not going to forget it. Mm -hmm. That's how women yeah. process things. Unfortunately, yeah. we are just like yeah. that. Yeah. And 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 the, your husband might be like, ah, you've not forgotten this thing happened. Maybe we've dealt with it. We've forgotten it. You have dealt with it. I haven't dealt with it. You know. So it yeah. does happen like that in some in some cases. Yeah, and I and I think this is what happened in this case. It's not something that you know that's been going on for a year or two years. It's definitely something that has been going on for a very, very, very long time. And everyone has a breaking point. And this is yeah. what people need to understand. And there would have been a lot of begging. There would have been a lot of you know soliciting. Can you change? Can we fix things? I've been there. I mean, I wasn't there for over forty-seven years. I was there for 13 years, but I knew from the first year I was begging, I was pleading, nothing changed. And I reached my break, you know, my breaking point and that was it. So, mm -hmm. but I do pray for them that they both find comfort in this yeah. new, you know, territory that they're sort of 
going and mm. you know their children everyone says the children are not going to be affected but the children lived through that marriage mm -hmm. they know what happened so mm. they're probably like yeah kudos to you mom you you have to do what you've got to do um mm. so it's just it's just life things happens in life and it's, mm. it's a shame that it's happened to them but it's just what happens sometimes in life yeah so, yeah that's, that's my little you know <laughs> Yeah, I'm yeah. all for I'm all for healthy marriages. If you are not healthy, or the relationship itself is not healthy, it's not it's not good for anybody. It's not good for the man. It's not good for the wife. It's not good for the children. It's not good for anybody. So, yeah. uh, the reason why this is shocking for a, a lot of people, including myself, is because you know what she said about him in the past. And because of their status and their money and their class and all that, and the age, most importantly, like, hmm, uh, who is yeah. getting divorced at this age? But it happens, isn't it? Yeah. But, yeah. but Auntie Paige, you know, because I was going to, you know, just add this onto it, you know, because mommy probably doesn't go for Omogua because all the children are rich, they can afford to hire nannies, right? Mm -hmm. So she, she doesn't have that escape to start visiting yeah. child yeah, one. Someone said that she's got some health challenges with her eyes, but she's losing her sight, allegedly. I don't know how far it's true, but somebody mentioned it that she said that she's losing her sight. So that can impact on whether you can do Omugo or not. Omugo is, is physically yeah. exerting. It's a lot of work yeah. looking after a yeah. newborn baby. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Omugo I just, I just, is not, um, even for the rich, it's the joy of it that makes mothers to go. You know, just yeah. having your grandbaby in your in your hands and, you know, just spending that time with your daughter or your daughter-in-law. That is the joy of it, you know. So, yeah. but I don't know. I don't know. Like, life happens. It's happened. It and I just pray that God comforts both of them through, yeah. you know, this new phase in mm. their life. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you. you, Estelle. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for calling. Do call us again. I like the way you call my name. Very soft-spoken. God bless you. Thank you, darling. Okay, guys, give us a thumbs up. If you need to say something, jump into the studio. I'm leaving right about some few minutes from now. Film girl, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. As Samolu said, why is it that women fight for divorce? Everyone has one thing or the other to justify it. But when a man files for divorce, everyone begins to judge the man. Well, you can take your question up with Daddy Freeze. Samolu. I know you are a fan, so go there. <laughs> go and end your grievances there. <laughs> Film girl, thank you so much. Say, keep up the good work, and to be. I don't know. There are no two cases. This life, everybody's life is different. Everybody's marriage is different. So I don't know. What I do know is that women, especially Nigerian women, we take, we can put up with a lot. And when you think that, okay, this matter is over just from nowhere when the cup don't fall cup, well, the day where the person wake up say your cup don't fall that day <laughs> Sam, Sam, well, you want me to answer your question give me super chat if you want me to answer send me super chat if you give me 50 pounds now I'll answer your question they ask me jam question for them whether i mean they represent all the all the women in the world you will soon tell me oh my god i can't laugh no women the way we process things is different Men and women are very, very different in the way we handle conflicts. Most men would deal with things and move on. Except you see a very, very, in very rare cases, you see men that are very petty like women. Women, we can be really petty. Like, huh, when it comes to this grudge thing, huh, mm, we will give you the time and date of that event. We will quote it like it happened yesterday. Meanwhile, a man will have just dealt with it, apologize if he's the one that is wrong, or if you were the one that is wrong, maybe you've apologized or whatever. You think you dealt with it, and you move on. The man will forget. The woman has not forgotten. Ah, you see? Samolu, you shake body, 20 pounds. Oh, shake gone. Aburo me, dada. God bless you. Now you give me super chat. I'm even explaining it to you already, you see? You know I love you, Anomoti. Thank you. So... Let me let me say this say it this way in all relationship marriage relationships it's about the value that the person feels like you bring I keep telling you guys all the time that women are very emotional beings that's the way God has created us we are very very emotional the way and I had I was watching one Dr. Zula show the, uh, this morning and one guy was so intelligent the way he was 
you know, expressing these things, said a lot of Nigerian men or African men don't have emotional intelligence. And this is just simply means, you know, having the capacity to understand the emotions of the other person, what your action or inaction, you know, how it impacts on that person and the, their emotions, studying somebody's emotion. That is emotional intelligence. Some, some people don't even know whether you are sad, whether you are happy, whether, whether you're having a bad day, you're having a good day. They don't know. They don't pick up on it. You know why? Because it is women that God has given that ability to pay attention to detail. So men need to train themselves. We, re we really need to train yourself to be able to pay attention to detail. Women, we are very detail-oriented. Even things that are minute, insignificant, we pay attention to it. We will put it, <laughs> we will put it under the microscope. <laughs> Sam, am I answering your questions? So, when she feels that you know what, you are not meeting me on that emotional level. The thing I women love worldwide. I don't care whether you are white, you are yellow, you are red. We need to feel loved. And if there's any reason why you don't feel that love anymore, that emotional disconnect is there for a, a long time. They will just check out of the relationship emotionally. A lot of people are married, husband and wife, they are living together, but they are like roommates. We did a show here the other day now. Samolu, did you not see it? Did you not see the women that were calling? Did you hear what they were saying? It was very, very detailed the way people were expressing how they felt like they were just physically in the marriage, like just to, out of obligation. It's just out of obligation. So there needs, you need to constantly be checking that you are connected to that person on an emotional level. Otherwise, you go chop breakfast too. Mm hmm I'm sorry, you came back again. You wanted to say something about this question Samolu is asking me. Yes, Auntie B, that, that was why I had to come back. Uh -huh. uh, the reason why uh, we question men when they ask for divorce and not women is that for a Nigerian woman to ask for divorce, don't see Shege, Shege Banza. Nigerian women, they don't leave their marriage. They hardly do. So when a woman decides and wake up that, okay, oh, against all odds, against all judgment, against churches, against stigmatism, I'm out. We question it. We do. We do because it takes a lot of courage to for an African woman to work out of that marriage. She has seen shaggy. Mm -hmm. But but on most cases, when a man even and I will not like you when I was when I was practicing in Nigeria, most of the petitioner they were women. Because yes. marriage in Nigeria is favored now, now women, now women know. Now women. Because yeah, Auntie B, marriage in marriage in Nigeria it favors the men more. Women are at the receiving end, so that is why it's women that fight for it. And if women fight for divorce, Auntie B, take it to the bank. There's a tangible reason for it. Hmm. So the fact that we are not uh, judging it, I'm just I have to call I have to call him to clarify that. Women don't just walk into the courts and say, "Okay, I want to be a single mother, or I want to be, I want to go back, I want to go back to the dating pool, mm. which is even contaminated in Nigeria to start with." Yeah. So, so yeah. it takes a lot. Mm. That's just Jude, all I have to say. Jude, Jude said something. Say another club member in India called uh, Uncle Out. This Uncle Modupe Alakija that they called him out in, and he he got angry, and he did the same thing. Punch the person as well. Ah, egg by me. Okay. I don't know what to say. There's serious anger issues there then. This is another person. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, Samolu is asking a question. Why are women always filing for divorce? Why are they the ones that usually file for divorce? Mm. Vivi said, women usually are on the receiving side short end of the stick there's something cc said i wanted to highlight and uh -huh. cc said that women bear the brunt of childhood and child rearing labor which can leave women overwhelmed and stressed yes 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 uh, it to be a woman is not easy sometimes we don't even understand ourselves gone 
I wish it's possible for us to sweep to swap sometimes. Today I was just when I was listening to that Dr. Shalash, I was like, if a, if a man, I, do, I mean, if it's possible for a man to walk in a woman's body for only three months, you'll be begging God to switch you back. Just three months. You'll be begging, baby, God, please. Can I have my can I be a man again? Being a woman is not easy. The way we are made. We are complex human beings, like emotions. What it about you? We, we, I mean, so many things go through our body, our mind. We worry, you know, the burden of family rests heavily on us, children, you know, societal expectation is too much. I always say, even as a young girl, that it's easier to be a man. It's easier to be a boy. All you have to do is just make money. That's only the expectation. And then be loving and caring small. No baton. The, the duties of women are endless. They are endless. Endless. Apart from the fact, baby, the way God even created us makes it so difficult. Coping as a human being. Oh, coping from when you enter puberty. Voila, baby. It's too much. Oh, you come again. Why? Oh, you come again. Why? You know, you're supposed to, you're supposed to like really, really. You know, carry us like precious jewels because ah, to be a woman, eh, you shame you. It's not easy. Ben, I will say you know, come, you know, don't, don't give me headache. You get three minutes. Ati B, mm. you know, say I no go give you headache now. I hear all the comments where they make for comments. You just say I know say say <laughs> uh, say if uh, cheating, why cheating go be problem for this age? Say if they cheat, he say not cheating not supposed to be problem. Ah. Auntie B, if a, man that in the comment section. if a man is cheating at the age of 65 plus, he's supposed to be forgiven. Uh, he gets as he be. Sometimes when person don't stay, stay that long, sometimes eh, he gets out the body, go the way, say you need to recharge the body. So when a man is 65, 70, a so man if a woman is charged. cheating at 70, is he okay? Will you tolerate eh? that? Will, you accept that if your wife is cheating at 70, right? Auntie B, come again. Ben, you know they hear me hello? again now, Abi. Hello, Auntie B. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Ben. Oh, serious. You know you guys. Eh? You guys. You, you, what you give, you can't take it. You say Auntie a woman B, should be allowed. A man should be allowed to cheat in peace at seventy. My mic so is you, hey, What if the wife is cheating, car? Oh, is that what you say? No, that's not what I say. Oh. No, my, my mic, they shake. My mic, they shake. May we move past that one? May no, we no, leave no, that we'll woman move go. That's May the starting we... point. You just I know they see your comment for comment section where you did here. You go just the type, type, type. I go the Now, now, Chidima, Chidima, film guy, and all of them, now they're the best, all of them, and then cause them. You know, I did here on a brother, Ben. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes at the B, may, may, may we, you know, say we never get this full story. If it be say, if it be say, na anti, na inge nindo. And if you get me, no, make it they frustrate the man. You know, you said that auntie fine, wait, wait. She fine. Nah, auntie, I like it, that fine, wait, wait. Very fine. Mm. Ah, that auntie fine, I beg. Even myself, I don't they crush on that sis. I say, God, if you won't give me sugar mommy, give me this kind of auntie, a sugar mommy. Oh, what? You define oh, sugar what? mommy? Only I like it, girl. Only I like it, girl. No one, <laughs> but only I like it, girl. <laughs> You know, say if your wife cash you, you know what you go do. You make you do your own. Don't fall. That one, no. Oh, see, but Timaku, Niku, oh my day, but you go reach there. But to be seriously, I think um, we don't know what happened. The thing is just shocking to me. I don't see why couple go live together this long, thirty years of marriage, and all of a sudden they go say that they divorce. And even this divorce, I don't want to believe the um, the media. It could be the man might be the one who is filing for divorce, but the way they are twisting it now, like it's like auntie is the one filing for divorce. You know, she's the popular one, so it could be the man that was, that is filing for divorce. This guy, my no, wife, she's the one. She's the one. Eh, she's the one filing for divorce. Yes, <sighs> she, because they removed him from the family home, so now she she threw him out. Ah, I know you have to be again. I say in throw her out that uh, auntie uh, mommy Alakija throw threw the husband out of their house, their family house. Wow. Yeah, oh. so she's definitely the one. Somebody mm -hmm. called Chuma here, Chud is making some uh, dude said, but she really fought hard for her marriage and she kept hoping for change. If you know more, please tell us. So it's like uh, mm. Chuma, Chuma has some 
some information that we don't we don't have access to here. Possibly. How do you do for it? Tell us more. She's definitely although, the one that's out. She's the one. Mm. Although what I know about uh, not all Yoruba men anyway, but as a Yoruba man myself, I know say when our papas when they don't they grow old, they they, they stubborn, and no matter how rich where you be, they still believe say you are still that wife when they marry you know they still want you to do everything the way they want it so you guys might be right maybe the man is stressing the auntie out and that might be the case but i just feel like by the time we get to the end of this if he be say one small girl like somebody suggested papa if he get one small girl for one corner i have no doubt about it that one i just i just don't want to talk me i don't talk say uh i just the uh, project now make i all keep quiet all these yeah, yeah. like this one this one when you hide the shook so ah, forget no baba baba my mama 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 correct even me uh, i didn't tell my mother everywhere say. Leave if that I give God to protect my life, I don't enter 70. I need one small picking. We be say, you know, you get how these young girls wait they 20, 30, you get how they go touch you at all day. Your body go wake up quick, quick. So, oh. Baba, if you need that kind of touch, we be say, they don't they touch Baba, touch Baba, and I think they look, say, <laughs> that Samolu go follow you, dragon. Samolu say, <laughs> himself, if the same thing, if a uh, mommy uh, follow him, sure. Uh, if he if he if you accept him as a as as sugar mommy saying wife go grease so now you and uh, Ben no men men can only not think about it you know since why I don't the crush on this woman I don't the crush on this woman if see. she don't get money you go see eh? average 70, 72 year old woman crush on if if now the money you the crush on I've been at the auntie talk true are they are they crush on both you know what he mean <laughs> you get no, I'll find you if now seventy two year old woman they hungry you better no worry. I will help you arrange one seventy. I get some seventy eh? two year old woman on my network. Where I will introduce you to. Auntie B, I know they find paper now. I know they why you go they do like this, Auntie B. No, seventy two years old. Not the day you they find. We will help you arrange the day now. No, 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 no. I know they find paper. Just give me a lucky jab. You are that Auntie fine now. Ah, you know you oh what you put oh one here. Even as he did, my wife naibo. If I tell my wife, say, babe, this auntie, this, this auntie, they give me eye. My wife go herself, he go corporate. I'm a ibo ni yaomi. I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that. You're going to find a billion with it. Ah, hey, wo. Ben, you're not serious. Hello? Oh, oh, serious, right? Oh, my God. Auntie, be a bad man. I leave you. I don't. I don't want to do broke. 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 It's all right, man. Oh, my God. Chudi, uh, Chuma said, uh, we are all here in Ikoi. Everybody knows what's happening in everybody else's house. Yeah. Ikoi is a, is a, it's a posh place now, and it's not that big. So, so with all those big, big fences that you people have and all those big, big trees, I love the trees in that part of the uh, Lagos. They have all these beautiful trees, tall trees that cover all their houses. So you people can still see what is happening in other people's business. You see what I was saying? I'm sure there's plenty baby mamas everywhere. There is no way. Because remember, when we started the show, we were talking about how the uncle was saying in an interview, the business doesn't belong to high alone. It's a family business. That's uh, D was the one that was making the reference that uh, she clocked that uh, there's some issues about insecurity there. You know, somebody won't yab me one day say, now nah, my favorite word be that. <laughs> I think they use that word, insecurity. <laughs> oh my God. No name, they never call me Venus for this for this platform. Oh my God. Chai. Hey. So, now you two mind telling us now, but everybody knows everybody's business in that area of Lagos. So, hmm. Yeah. Uh... OJ, mommy can tolerate a lot. Okay. She's still telling us, the person is still telling us a lot. He say, OJ, mommy can tolerate a lot, but when you keep pushing her faith, that is a red line. She could no longer take it. Aha. Uh -huh. Lobaton, did I not tell you it wasn't about money? I told you it wasn't about money. I suspected that it was just something about that her faith because a lot of all these very religious gin gin women, when they find Jesus and they have become ordained minister, don't go there. Mm. Don't go there. Chidi my oh, Remy Bay, see me see trouble. They say my favorite word. They have different, different favorite word for me. I want no more. Me, Ronnie on share. Now then, Sabi. She's willing to take everything. It's marriage, but she cannot take 
but you can't take a faith from her. Okay. Okay. Chuma, you don't want to tell us anymore. We wanted you to come and give us tea. You don't want to come and give us tea. Oh, yeah, let me share my link. Mm? Come and give us some tea now. People are people are itching to hear this story. So Chima is basically downloading now, saying that she's taking a lot, but when it comes to her faith, uh -huh. I knew it wasn't about money because oh, 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 oh. money day now, money day. One billion dollars plus na small money. I don't buy not even the fish. You can't they can't spend it in their lifetime. Their children gone cannot finish spending it. Um yeah, so it was about her faith. I see. Mm. Yes, God first. Mommy is not playing with her, her ministry. Yeah. I knew that she was into that ministry quite a lot. So I can imagine that if Uncle is for, for whatever reason, but why is it disturbing her from doing her ministry? After all, he has his own uh, financial, what's it called? He has his own social life. He goes to Ikoi Club and he enjoys himself. So I think he should be happy with her ministry or maybe the time she's dedicating to it. Mm, okay. Florence, you are in the studio. I'm rounding up now. Welcome. Please unmute yourself. Hello, Auntie B. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Do you know more than what we've been saying? Or what well, do you want to say? Well, I would say that I do not know them uh, physically, but I'll tell you that I've I've followed uh Bilonia Florence Alakija uh for over over the years. I would say everything that's out there in public about her, I know. I've I've been following her for over 15, 20 years. So I know we know that a couple of years ago she actually not just gave her life to Christ. Okay, she's always been a Christian. Yeah. But but she stopped wearing jewelry. I mean when yeah. you, when you stop wearing jewelry, you know that that is it for some people. You understand? Spiritually. That means you've you've decided to give it all up. So my, the only angle I have to this divorce has to be something that's spiritual. You understand? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so you, the Bible tells us if anything is going to let make you go to hell, let it go. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, when you get to that point where your partner maybe is indulging in acts, okay, and you're looking at it and you have to like say, you know what, am I going to continue to be here and get contaminated mm. spiritually? Mm. At that point, a decision like this has to happen. Hmm. That's your sip. That's all. I what, what, what do you think a man will stop a woman like this? I mean, this is not just your regular housewife. I know she's his wife, but she's a billionaire. Why would you want to stop her from doing the, I mean doing her her work as a minister? It's not like you she's not you, you don't have people to cook for you, clean or whatever. Is if well, why? Well, because if there's a spiritual conflict, right? So mm. if you if there you know if there's a remember before they used to do things together, they were in agreement. But then all of a sudden, right? If you now begin to say, I can't do this, I can't do this, and draw a line and stand by it. And he's he's not wanting to agree with you spiritually. Then right. you understand that's 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 why I give the example. Say, like somebody this. said, I'm, I'm I'm hearing what Vivi is saying. Vivi says a power play. I I hear that. Remember how we always say that all DV stems from a, a position of you know power and control. It's like that. You are my wife. You have to listen to me. Whatever I tell you to do, you have to do it. I I believe it's more than that. It's it's more than a power play. It's a spiritual thing. Now you know what when you mean get spiritual to, thing. I don't understand. When I say it's a spiritual thing, I mean that a lot of these people who are that rich, right? Mm. They 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 belong to a brotherhood. They do be, belong to a brotherhood. All of them. When you get to mm. this point, when you're a billionaire, they go there for power. They go there for protection. Okay. I, I, you understand? So so when you get to that point up there. These people are, look, I'm not going to come here and begin to say. Okay, so you're this. saying that, yeah. So by having a ministry in the house, praying and all those Christian stuff, it's like a conflict of uh, of interest now exactly. on a spiritual level. That is going to, yeah, that is now going to affect a woman who has gotten to the level where she gave up, gave up gold and silver, wearing right. them. I mean, that's the height of a, a woman's, you know, you want to put on your gold, your jewelry. She gave it up. Hmm. <laughs> would you, I, you know, would, when you see a woman that has given up wearing, makeup wearing all that stuff that means she's giving up or giving it all up now now it's it's like at the level of you know what it's me and christ when it mm. comes to sacrifice you know i'm talking about the physical sacrifices we make i'm not i'm not talking about the uh, spiritual i'm not there with her 
I'm just talking about physically. So when it gets to that point for a woman like that, who was able to give up, she was even at the uh, birthday, six year birthday party of Siju Iluyoma Day, well, Iluyoma Day, a couple of weeks ago. And this woman wasn't putting on no makeup, no, no, uh, well, uh, very light makeup, no jewelry, I'm saying to you. So when it gets to that point, you give up anything yeah. that would take you, yeah, that, you know, that would contaminate your spiritual life. Yeah, I understand. And now I understand what you mean. Exactly. I, I, I didn't want to be too now. expressive. Yeah. 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 Call, yeah, I understand what you mean now. Because, I mean, yeah. 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 Two powers cannot operate on the, on the same exactly. environment. One has to bow for the others. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, we've seen enough can I yo. We've seen enough can I yo. Who can I yo movies to know? Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, when you're operating. Yeah, yeah. So, if you don't want to give it up, if you don't want to come back, and then yeah. you know it's it's two people now, two different people on two different spiritual angles, two different levels. Yes, and so are you going to now? Are you? And you are also right about what you said that you know rich people tend to put their hands in a lot of things. Oh, definitely. You know, for protection. They, are, for all, whatever. they all belong yeah. to a brotherhood. All this money yeah. you see floating around, <laughs> where, you know, where are they? The one percent of the one percent. Mm, you know so yeah. when you now you but nigeria is a very tough place as well so some people feel like ah i need to hold my side i need to protect myself you know so and you know somebody even mentioned something like that when talking about politics the other day that yeah. if you don't belong to some certain kind of uh, organization you can't even win elections in nigeria you do not you you can't they you have can't. to they make sure that they welcome you into that people. into that club uh -huh. yeah. then yeah. Somebody was saying that the things they saw during the election, what they saw, yeah, the things yeah. that go on. That's when you see a lot of you know people disappearing, things happening back in the day. Even who are the people yeah. that are buying the body parts that they keep talking about? Mm. Who? What did they use it for? Who it's are the well. people that? Oh my God! You don't want me to be graphic here. Pounding it's babies. Okay. Mm, we can't be graphic now. because of YouTube. Yeah, mm. exactly. So that's mm. why I didn't want to go there. But I'm glad you you can now. I got it. Yeah, I got thank it in you. the end. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Stephanie. Thank you, my darling. Thanks for calling us. Yeah. I mean, thank you, Florence. Thank We've you. been playing different scenarios, but this one, coupled with what somebody who is a neighbor already said, makes perfect sense. Yeah. So somebody in the comment section has been saying things, you know, dropping comments. They say they can't come to speak to us because... Iko is a small place. They don't want to be recognized as the person that gave out the tea. I completely understand, my brother. So I'm not going to hold that against you. But what Florence is saying now just matches what you know what the neighbor was saying that she's put up a lot in the marriage. So the person in the comment section was saying, "We live in Iko. Everybody knows everybody's business." And I know that she's put up a lot, but she was ready to deal with anything except when it comes to her spiritual life. Now that is where she puts, you know. She puts a stop to that and say, you know what? I can deal with anything, waste all the money, have baby mamas, cheat, go to Ikoi Club and be beating everybody up, the humiliation and the public embarrassment. I will deal with anything. But when it comes to you stopping me from worshiping my God and doing my ministry, la, 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 la. The Bible says that if it is your ear, your right, right ear is the one that will stop you from entering the kingdom. Oh, yeah, remove it. Alele. If it's your finger, if it's your eye, mm -hmm. And so on, and so on, so it makes perfect sense to be honest. Yeah, but it is what it is. I wish them well. Uh, you know, the funny thing about this before you know, now uncle would have found a very small girl like Ben was describing. Mm -hmm. We just look for one 25 year old. Oh, what one now? All these girls in Lagos, ha. one young enough to be his granddaughter is the next Mrs. Alakija. So you just watch out and see. So it's gonna be all right. Uncle is going to be all right. Mm. And auntie, uh, mommy too will be fine. Mommy will be fine by the grace of God. I know she's not going to fall for any good digger. No. And sometimes you feel like having money, this level of money, this kind of um, success is a burden for a woman. Honestly, it can be. In a place like Nigeria, it can be. Mm. Yeah. You are right, OJ. What does she want at that age? But they say they're still there. I don't know whether women still they carry at that age or 72. Ha. But you never know. Make we wait till we reach that age before we know what happens at that age. <laughs> oh, my days. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Please give us a thumbs up if you are just joining us. Man of Prestige, I see you. How are you doing, bro? Okay, we are ending now. Tomorrow, I am back. Tomorrow is a normal day. I just wanted to quickly jump on this today because the story was trending 
But we have an update for your favorite season 100, episode 1 million, Yol Edoche. They are in court. May Edoche is in court with Yol Edoche, and you will not believe that Yol Edoche is refusing to divorce. <laughs> He's refusing to divorce. Divorce me. I have all the tea tomorrow. So join me tomorrow. Mm. Eh? Chinye, Chinye, what are you saying? <laughs> Chinye, what? I thought you loved me before. Why are you saying this now? Is it Auntie B the way I see you? So I won't be surprised if you carry away at that age. <laughs> Chinye, you are not nice. <laughs> I will be a great grandmother then. I will be very holy and close to Jesus Christ. What are you talking about? No way I would have retired. I'd have hung my boots then. <laughs> That's why I need to, I need to, you know, really, really make sure that I don't waste any opportunity now, you know? <laughs> Chinya, you're so funny. The way you look at me, is it because I try to be sexy? I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> Chinya, oh my God, please don't make me laugh. Now, you know what? I just feel like it's not only, you know, me, I could like to rebel against things a lot. So... Men, bra, it's not like bra Ben will come and tell you pay at 70. I should have a small girl that will make my thing to, to be working for me to be able to carry one. Uh -huh. So a lot of African women, we grew up, Nigerian women especially grew up, and we are taught to suppress everything that has to do with our sensuality. And I'm like, why? Why should we? At the end of the day, if somebody married now again, you are not you don't want to do carry one, you still judge, you still complain. So I mean, in this day and age, women should be free to enjoy Kerewa and be sensual, there's nothing wrong in it. Absolutely nothing wrong in it. So tomorrow I'll be back with you. Episode 100, season 300. Let's, let's talk about it. Okay? Yes. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Uh-uh. Hmm. Okay. Mona, no carry me go where I don't want to go. Let me end. Let me end. It's one and a half hours I wanted to do. I'm running. I'm running. Man of prestige. I'm running. They want to take me to where I don't want to go. So let's leave that. If you guys want us to talk about those things, I'm open for it. We can have a conversation. You know. You, you, why? Why not? Why not? Yeah. Everything God has given us is for, for us to enjoy. So you have to enjoy it while it lasts. Because it's not going to last forever. Ask Charlie Boy. Charlie Boy say you don't know they stand again. When I tell me say now only Charlie Boy, now they affect. Now lie. Now bye bye. Thank you very much, everybody. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. I appreciate you. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Yeah, Kerewa should definitely be enjoyed. Why not enjoy it? You know they shop Eba. You know they shop Amala. Okay. All right. Love you guys. <laughs> Have a good evening. I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye, guys.